kind of new experimental procedure. Well, I do not like it one bit. I'm just confusing and distressing her. At least she's not confusing him for her son. That would be truly horrific. Right, I will leave you be. Goodbye, Miss Gilliam. Okay, we tried our best. Let's get to the West End and rest up before everything moves back in. Right. Let's see. We have a fair bit of experience to play with. I don't actually care for Blood Cauldron. It was quite a lacking ability. Let's see. We could go for more stamina. That's a thousand experience, but stamina is always useful. We could also get a further increase to health. Upgrading the heal is going to cost us all of our experience. It's, it's a fair increase to healing, however, I'm not sure it's what I want right now. There is also claws. We've been using claws again recently, and I am liking it. It could be good. It could also lead to stun gain if I got it all the way up, which I very much doubt I'll ever get that far. Let's go with stamina. We could go with yet more stamina. But I'll refrain. We can't upgrade heal, as we've established. Or blood spear. I think it might be time we upgraded our blood capacity. We've not done that in a little while. We could do it again. But let's increase the blood absorb rate. And we're now level 24. We've got 500 experience left. Which we can't spend on anything. But that's fine. That's 500 we can spend next time. It's very satisfying watching everybody get treated. Oh, some of them have gotten sick again already. It's quite a battle to try to keep the West End healthy. Pembroke Hospital is stable still, as you'd hope. Now, let's go dance with Doris Fletcher. Can we get past these Skarl without alerting them? Yes, we can. There's a rat. I can't believe I'm doing this. Now... Jonathan Reed enters stage left. You killed my father. Ooh. Prepared, I smell you. Right, we out. Your hand We've closed shaking. the gap between our level with Doris Fletcher. Oh. Let's, oh, we got a lot more stamina, but it takes. A little while for it to regenerate. Let's be cautious and get a drink. And give her a slice. Let's get her out of that corner. Oh! Careful. I know you probably seek validation if I would if I was raised by Harriet Jones, but oh my word, that's hideous and awful. Right. You know what? Let's unleash. It's getting a little too close for comfort here. Just gotta 
Regen Serum. Oh! Oh my word! No! Don't come to her! Stay out of this! Wouldn't yours be? If faced with a beast like that? Come on! Ooh, careful! Ooh. Come on! You can probably smell me sweating as well. Ooh, back! Can I get a drink? Yeah, we can. The skull aren't really a problem for me anymore. Ooh. Careful. Ah! Right, let's heal. There's more of them. Right, I need to get my stamina back. I'm being foolish. Let's heal that. Ooh. Sugar. No, ah. Oh. Okay, that's 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 doable. That's really doable. I need to get away from that one. Oh, this might be it for me. How am I alive? I'm not. Ooh. Okay, back up. This is where she's going to explode. Oh, I'm, it's just the burn is killing me and I can't get away now. Oh, my word. This acid burn is just awful. Oh, come, come on now, you little cretin. No, no, not that one. Oh, now I'm burning. Oh, now I'm burning even more. No, oh, for... You're going to have to bugger up and leave me alone. Oh, the ass. Is there a way I can just, like, counteract that burn? No. 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 Okay. Careful. Get the stamina back. Oh, she dodged. That's because I'm fearful. No. Oh, I'm burning. No. Oh, I'm dead. I'm, I'm dead. I can feel it. No. Oh, back, back. Oh, get your stamina back. No. Fuck. I, I just don't know. I just don't know what I'm supposed to do here. We are going to reset our skills because we've spent experience in places where I no longer care to have it, such as Blood Cauldron. And I need, and as well as Blood Barrier and Coagulation. It wasn't an easy decision, but I need to apply my experience more carefully. I want Abyss. I'm... Blood Cauldron feels useless. Rage is great for clearing out a crowd and chipping away health, but it's not good when I need just something dead instantly. Claws, I'm hit and miss with. Blood Spear, I'm also kind of hit and miss with. It has its uses, but it's... Those uses are limited. I think I want to go for Shadow Mist instead. Right, what level do I need to be to get Abyss? I need to be level 10 to get an, an ultimate. Right. Stamina. This is a no-brainer to start with. Along with health, because we already die in too few hits. I'm rethinking bite. I put a lot of points into biting. But 
the openings to bite are few and far between. Let's get a little blood capacity. I might get a point in Shadow Veil. I only really use Shadow Veil for getting around, so right now... Honestly, I can fight anything I come across in the streets, really, more or less. So I don't actually need Shadow Veil, so it might be time we said goodbye to it. I like Spring for closing the gap. But beyond that, I don't really know how useful it is. I don't know if it's worth spending a thousand more points into Spring and have a load of small, mid-range, low-range abilities when I could have a few hard-hitting abilities. That needs to be level 8. Coagulation and Blood Barrier just don't do it for me. Heal. We do need. That's level 9, which means we can get the next part of Shadow Mist. Now we can get Abyss. Body condition. Stamina. Let's do stamina again. We had stamina up to an extra 100%. I kind of want to be there again. If not high, I could go higher. But let's not spend too much at once. Let's make sure this is balanced. Let's get health to level 5. We could get an extra... This is where I was, I believe. We can get the next step of Abyss, which I want. Heal. Okay, we lose 50 instant healing. It costs a little bit more. But it has an extra 100 healing after it. It's, it's really, it's trading. It's more blood for a quicker instant heal or less blood for the same heal over time. Let's go with the other route this time, the alternate route. That needs to be level 20. I do want the next step there. Shadow Mist. Right. So, the alternate... The, to begin with Shadow Mist, you place a cloud at the target's feet or yours and a cloud will explode, causing heavy damage. The alternatives are increased range and increased damage. Or and it's quite a hefty increase in damage. Or we lower the damage drastically. However, all targets within the area are struck constantly by slithers of darkness, causing them to bleed, and I absorb the blood from the wounds. That would be very useful. It's heavy hit or blood absorption, and I think we should go for the heavy hit. We could push it even further. But let's not rush. I'm thinking of redoing my weapons as well. I think my weapons should be blood absorb, because this... The difficulty in trying to stun and then bite and absorb blood, it feels like I'm playing a constant... I, I have to constantly balance between dealing damage and getting my blood back. I can't go in and do both. And I, I want to change that. I want to be able to get in, absorb blood with my attacks, and then dish out some abilities straight afterwards and go back in with my attacks. Blood capacity. Let's 
not forget that. That's a big increase to healing. And I think I do need that increase. It's level 20. Let's get the next step of Abyss. Level 21. Let's get the next step in Shadow Miss. Level 23. And I'm, I'm pretty nervous because I could be just ruining my the build I had. I know some of the abilities I had had to go. So that would have been free experience to spend elsewhere. But I, I still, I'm still nervous. Let's go for health. I've got 964 experience that I want to spend to get to level 24. We could go blood capacity. We can't afford stamina. Bullets. When I do use guns, they are very useful. That's going to have to do. And I haven't really treated anyone tonight. I just wanted to get this done. So we're probably going to see an outbreak of illness across... London. Hopefully. It won't be too much. It is spreading, though. Oh, hang on a minute. You've got two ailments. She is, oh, I think it's a level 2 disease. She's anemia now. Right, we'll have to deal with that at some point. Right. Weapons. So. This could be five blood points I'm absorbing. But I do sacrifice stamina consumption and damage. What about the hacksaw? That could be a hypothetical 10 blood I absorb on hit. I wouldn't be able to max it out, but I would be able to get it rather high. Let's... Invest. I don't have one aluminium powder. That's quite frustrating. Uh, I can cycle all of this, and I can then finish getting the blood absorb at the very least. So we're going to be dealing a lot less damage, but it should be worth it. I do also have the Lin the Liston knife for blood absorption. Let's up that. Okay. I don't have any more shotgun shells, do I? You killed my father. Come on. 
I'm on. Yes! Oh! But I've never been so happy! Oh, uh, wait. I beg you. Oh, wait. you better have a good what? reason for this. I I don't want to die. I didn't want to die I all did this not time. Come oh. to kill you. Will you spare me then? Save this cadaverous carcass of mine. And really, he's going to be a big ass. Beat a little faster now. You fancy me then, Doctor? No, Miss Fletcher. My dead heart will beat for only one. Ah! Is she pretty? I'm not prettier than you. Sweet and tender. To me, yes. Ah! I hate her already. I know. And this is partly why you must be destroyed. But you just said... That I did not come here to kill you, yes. But I realize now the threat you embody must be stopped. Will I be remembered? Will you? What are you doing with that lantern? You were Doris Fletcher. The greatest actress of her generation. No one can take that from you. Thank you. And farewell. Oh. She's gone up quick. For a moment, not to stand near a match. <sighs> Bravo! So dramatic. I love it. Were you watching this entire time? You didn't help me. How strange I seem to find you whenever I'm inquiring about that skull infestation. I mean you no harm. I'm not here for you, but once I've put all the pieces of the puzzle together, I'm sure we'll have a little chat, you and me. What? Stay away from me, McCollum. You and all your war dogs. That I can't guarantee, Dr. Reed. But I'll let you go. For now. At least he's letting us go for now. I should probably leave the theatre right now. Sugar. How do we get out of here? I cannot enter. Oh, the West God. End should be safe now. But London is not. Remember it would be wise to benefit from the Ascalon's protection while I continue my research during the Great Hunt. Might as well. New Doris Fletcher's diary. Oh, how she is now. Soon I'll be on stage again for my rehearsals are almost over. My minions are gathered around me, ready to follow my every command. Soon my audience will return, ready to applaud my art. The young, the gorgeous, my healthy audience, they'll return to their families, their beautiful houses and happy lives, delighted by my performance, shocked by my disguise, touched by my grace, my infectious legacy. They'll spread the disease one by one and they'll turn, and I'll be their beloved queen again, and they'll never forget me. And I'll have my revenge on the dirty trick fate played on me. Not that we needed any convincing as to her motives. Alright, let's just get out of here. Return at a more convenient time. These people want me dead. I need to leave now. What people? The guard? I don't see the guard around. Let's hurry. So Doris just needed to be close to her audience to infect them. Contagion through skin. Very disturbing. And she touched me a lot. I hope I don't turn out like her. Well. Ooh. Evening. Just going for a stroll. Christ. Can I... Past. Let's return to the Ascalon Club. 
give them the good news. Not that they helped me in any way. I don't feel like a member of the club. I feel like I'm being coerced into doing their bidding. Oh, I only just feel massive relief that Doris is dead. I I should feel empathetic for her transformation, but I'm just so glad she's dead after the struggle I've gone through. <sighs> Lady Ashbury. Elizabeth, what are you doing here? I've been formally asked to witness your triumph, my dear. After oh. All, isn't it the natural role of a woman to support her man in victory? But it's you who insisted I join the Ascalon. Please forgive my giddiness. I'm just overcome by the thrill of finally being allowed within these hallowed halls. You certainly have an inquisitive mind. It's quite something. Elizabeth Ashbury, only you can make me smile in these difficult times. And the same to you, Jonathan Reed. Now go have your little chat with the chairman. I can see he's practically bursting to hear your report. I've heard the news already. I am a little concerned. Well. I suddenly feel a little bit used. That she used me to get into the Ascalon Club premises. What is the connection between her and Lord Redgrave? Is it that they share a maker? Welcome back to the Ascalon Club, Lance Bearer. Please tell us the good news. You seem to already know it. Put an end to the epidemic. My hypothesis was correct. Doris Fletcher was the source of the contagion in this part of town. She was probably the first to be infected. And you cleansed her before the hunters, I've been told. Well done, Dr. Reed. You thrust your lance and pierced the very heart of the corruption. Questions remain. A lot of questions remain, and no thanks to you. None of you did any- I've been here like a couple of nights, and I figured out what you could not. And it's still- who infected Doris? That- that's a big question here. But some questions remain. The important thing is, we won a major battle for the survival of London. For that, we? we salute you. you mean Thank me? You. I did. Now, I have another task for you. One so, I've other only other just finished the last task. Perhaps even more so than the previous. I'm listening. It's time for you to perform a most sacred duty for the club. I want you to recruit a new vampire. Recruit a what? new vampire? Are you sending me on some sort of diplomatic mission? Not exactly. I want you to make Aloysius Dawson the Ekon he deserves to be. I don't think I want to do that. I don't think I want to do that at all. You're... No. You, you want to incorporate my lineage into the Ascalon Club more fully in a way that you can control. Why would I turn him? It's a very personal thing, isn't it, to take on a progeny? I'm sorry, but I can't. Are you questioning my orders? Yes. No. It's just... I'm not sure I'm ready to have another progeny after what happened with my sister. The rebirth of Aloysius Dawson is a necessary step in our campaign to ensure the safety of London. How? How would you like me to proceed? Aloysius is waiting for you at the Dawson estate. Once the deed is done, I'll join you there to celebrate this momentous occasion. Why do I feel like I'm being set up? Before I go, I have a few questions. All right. I'm listening. First of all, Lady Ashbury, you finally invited her onto the premises, did you? Well, clearly you did. You invited Lady Ashbury? Wouldn't that be breaking one of your cardinal rules? No women allowed. Not allowed as members, no. But considering the circumstances, I thought you'd like to have her here to witness your triumph. So it's a temporary admittance, then. 
Something of a bargain, considering the crisis we're currently facing. I suspect you thought you had something to gain out of letting her in. Why Aloysius Dawson? Why Aloysius Dawson? Because he is about to die. And he just may be the most influential man in England. Why don't you turn it? Oh, very modest of you. Why why me though? Did he choose me to make him or did you choose me to make him? Did he choose me? No, I did. My decision is very recent to say the least, but it is entirely mine. And that makes me want to do it even less. And he didn't seem very thrilled to be a vampire when I saw him. Does he know of your decision? Does he know I'm coming? He can't wait to become your progeny, Dr. Reed. Especially now that you have shown how strong your lineage is through your sister. I don't think that's true. How do you want me to proceed? How would you like me to proceed? Don't worry. Aloysius has had many years to prepare himself. He has studied our kind for decades. There's danger though, isn't there? I, he could die during the process. Wouldn't it be better to not risk that at the moment? Is there any danger? Our blood alters a mortal body so deeply that some don't survive the metamorphosis. They die for good. But Mr. Dawson has been preparing himself for a long time. How do you mean, preparing himself? Do I just go over there, give him my blood? Give him a bite? So shall I just let him drink my blood? Yes. Aloysius will gratefully sup on your blood. His heart will slow, then stop. But he will rise again as one of us, an immortal. So you say... Goodbye, Lord Redgrave. I... Have a lot of misgivings about turning him. Elizabeth? Are you all right, Jonathan? No. Lord Redgrave has just ordered me to turn Aloysius Dawson, to make him my progeny. I see. And how do you feel about this? I don't want to do it. I won't do it. The very thought of it makes me sick. The real question here is, why has his lordship given you this task? Do you think it's some sort of trap? Do you really want to know what I think about this? Of I course. Do. Yes. To make an immortal of a soulless blackguard like Aloysius Dawson will only lead to a disaster for London. The man is already dead inside. Should I refuse? Perhaps politely suggest that Lord Redgrave turn the man into a vampire himself. Don't you dare, my dear. According to what I've recently discovered, his lordship could kill you for even broaching the subject. Really? Why? I've recently found proof that the Earl of Bristol is of lesser lineage and only capable of creating skulls. Really? Oh, I'd love to know how you learned that. So... So you are the progeny of William Marshall, and he is not. He is nothing but a pretender. I have more questions. Please, tell me more about your recent investigation. As long as you lower your voice. Maybe we should have this conversation elsewhere. Um, Lord Redgrave, tell me about what you've discovered. Are you sure your information about Redgrave is correct? He says he's the progeny of the great knight, William Marshall, who lived some nine centuries ago. That's a lie. Lord Redgrave is unable to create anything but skulls, if the poor soul survive at all. Is he the one propagating this crisis? How can you be so sure? How can you be sure the information was correct? I made the acquaintance of a most interesting informer while investigating your maker, from whom I learned the truth about Lord Redgrave. An informer who's going to remain anonymous for now, then. Is that a slight hint of... a vindictive tone I hear, though? You seem... vindicated yourself for the discovery. 
Why so vindictive? You suddenly sound like you're angry. Forgive me, Jonathan. I hate myself for it, but I feel such pride in my discovery. I'm afraid I just can't help it. Which is? He did serve William Marshall. And yes, the blood he covets as a token does truly belong to that legendary knight. But he was never his progeny. His lineage is not so noble. Intriguing. And I wonder who did turn him. Advice. Um, tell me. Give me some advice on turning Al Aloysius Dawson. What would you have me do about Dawson? The man is dangerous. Did you know he plans to build a wall to separate the healthy rich from the sickly poor? I heard. Do not make him your progeny. I'm what not going to. The man's dying already. Let the reaper harvest the rotten fruit that is his soul. What about making Dawson an Ekon? Well, clearly we've already ruled that out. What would happen? If I made Dawson an Ekon like myself. You would add a powerful immortal into a suffering world. An immortal who already craves authority. Maybe I could teach him control, like you taught me. Lead him down the right path. No. Mr. Dawson spent his life searching for a way to cheat death. I'm sure he has spent decades dreaming of how he'd spend eternity as a I don't know about that, however, I'm definitely not turning him. Goodbye for now, Elizabeth. Goodbye, my dear. Please, be careful. You too. Now, let's go find Mr. Dawson.